All right, so I'm talking about jujitsu. My name is Daniel Lee Woods, and I practice Japanese jujitsu. And it's a martial art. And the thing about martial arts is that what martial arts are seen as in popular culture is this. It's seen as mixed martial arts and ultimate fighting, which is a very physically violent version of martial arts. And that's not what I practice. Jiu-Jitsu is an ancient tradition, just as Judaism is as well. It was developed on the battlefield by samurai warriors who needed a way to defend themselves when they lost their sword. And it was a continually evolving system, just as Judaism was. The thing was, if it didn't work, you would die. Which really didn't work out that well, so the techniques had to be pretty effective. Yes, that's very important. And so, as a result, uh, as Japan moved out of the feudal period into a more civil era, it shifted from the battlefield to the dojo, where martial arts, and specifically judo, took uh, jujitsu, took on a different focus. In the modern era, era jujitsu split into a variety of different factions, just as Judaism did. I can't do that. <laughs> Don't ask me to try. So, there is classical jiu-jitsu, that is what I practice, and there are a variety of techniques that look absolutely identical to what was practiced hundreds of years ago, and there are new techniques that were developed within a couple months ago. And so, moving on, there's Aikido, which is an offshoot of jiu-jitsu, which focuses on using non-violent means to defend yourself and also not harm your attacker and it has a very deep philosophy behind that as a result. But don't worry, your movie can watch you and be filled with nachas to watch you compete when you do judo, which is the sport version of jujitsu, and is focused entirely on competition. So, yes, your family can attend. There's Brazilian jujitsu with the idea that every fight goes to the ground anyway, and so the focus is on wrestling and grappling and it's very popular in mixed martial arts as well. But behind all of this, the really important thing is the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. Yes, it is a lifestyle and it is very much, a, there's a variety of benefits involved in studying martial arts. One of the most important things is strength. You can become a real starker, just like your Bobby always said you were. And there's mental and physical strength. You're building muscles that you hadn't worked on otherwise, and it also builds courage to try a technique again and again that you haven't been able to achieve. There's flexibility, an ability to adapt to new situations that you haven't been in, as well as also to be flexible with regards to the demands that jujitsu takes on your body. There is another component. Self-defense. Your mother won't worry as much. She'll feel like you can survive in a very dangerous world if you take martial arts because there is a very strong self-defense component. But all of these benefits miss one really important thing. There are deeper aspects of training. And a lot of dojos, a lot of schools don't focus on this, unfortunately. What are those deeper aspects? Well, there's a spiritual focus, and that physically intense training oftentimes leads to very distinct moments of clarity which end up becoming a spiritual path. Don't worry, rabbis will still show up for high holidays. <laughs> and beyond the spiritual focus, there's the healing arts. The more you learn how to harm the human body, you learn how to take care of it. And there's a strong focus on repairing and making sure that you're in top health with regards to training. And so it's very much a focus. Many rabbis will tell you you're sought out when you become very wise in the ways of Torah. Same is true with the, the ways of martial arts. And you become a mensch. So character development is a uh, part of it. With that, I offer you Hajime Hanukkah. Hajime means begin in uh, jujitsu or judo which is a way of saying you start the wrestling or the competition or the match. So begin Hanukkah. Thank everybody for attending. And if anybody has any questions about jujitsu, please come see me. I'd be happy to talk to you about a variety of styles, and I promise I won't hurt you.